guys, Jesper here, and it's time for a new tutorial. And uh, this time I'm going to try to um, put two different uh, things into one tutorial. Uh, first one being how to warp music in uh, the new version of Live, uh, Live 8. And uh, the second one being how you warp an acapella. Um, it might be hard for to, to sync it up with beats when you don't have uh, any references. But let's just uh, start out with um, warping uh, a track in the Live 8. The difference between Live 8 warping and uh, warping in any of the previous versions is that before you had a fixed wave form and uh, you adjusted the timeline. Uh, right now it's all the same, only it's um, the, the opposite. The waveform uh, is not fixed, the timeline is, and the waveforms will, um, will vary. So let's just take the, the first track here. Um, Tracking Treasure Down by Gabriel and Dresden. Let's just um, listen and find uh, the first beat so we have something to begin with. I so it seems that the warp auto warping uh, found the first beat here. So let's just go with that one. Uh, I think that's a little bit off. Uh, warping is never perfectly perfect so let's make our own warp and marker here by double clicking and let's say I want to start from here so just go set the first one here and I want to warp it straight because it's uh, um, the tempo is always perfect with dance music so now we have um, our start warp so let's just play it I know this will be something I Quite, quite alright, but it's not perfect. So let's just zoom in on, on any of the, the major uh, numbers here to to adjust. So let's say here we have uh, the beat is a little bit off, and then you get a gray marker. Let's just click it and drag it until you have it perfect. And if it's not perfect enough, you just zoom in to get it extra perfect. I know this will be something I we can skip ahead to make sure it's still in sync. And over here. I hear slight, uh, it's slightly off here, so just zoom in on one of the major numbers. And um, when the warping is as good as, as it was now, that you can it sounds in sync all the way almost to the end you can assume that when, when you zoom in on one of the bigger numbers the kick closest to it is the the kick that's supposed to go there so I just took the one here now and somewhere oh, let's move it a little bit more I know. so there we go I a warp track all right let's move along Let's say I have this a cappella from the same track, tracking treasure down. Uh, warping, auto warping vocals will never be good because it has no tempo or reference to uh, to go by. Uh, it's just gonna assume uh, what tempo it is based on the lyrics, but they change constantly, so it's gonna be filled with these yellow markers. Let's just remove them because um, this is a, a vocal for dance track, so I'm gonna assume it's uh, in perfect tempo as well. Let's let's just go uh, warp here from straight. I know. And the first word is I know. So let's just go ahead and find the very beginning of that note, and that's well around here. So let's double click to make a marker, and set that as one one one. I know this. We can change the warp method as well too. I know this will. Tone sounds right now. So let's go with that. Now I just need to know how the original track sounds. I, I assume that if you have a, an acapella that you're about to remix track, you have also the original. So you can listen to, um, you can search for words in the lyrics in the original track uh, that are on beat. And then you're gonna try to sync that word on beat um, with, uh, with your acapella. So let's just listen where that first word. I know. I know. So let's find I in the, the origi uh, original track. I know. All right. 
I was on the second beat when it uh, started. So let's just make a, a, a reference kick. Right, we have a beat and we have the acapella. Let's move them to the arrangement view. It's a little bit easier to do here. And let's extend the, the kick a bit. Don't forget the red button so it reads from the, the arrangement view. Now you notice that the first kick, to make sure the kick are easily spotted, let's just shorten them so you see where the kicks are. All right, if we zoom out, the the I know of this acapella starts on the first beat here, so let's just move it to the second beat where it starts in the original. I know this will be Sounds uh, pretty good already. Um, if you know the BPM of the original track, you can try and uh, and uh, just put that in with um, in your acapella. Just type it in here, 135. I know this will be Something I remember. Well, let's say we don't have a clue what, what BPM it is. Oops. So let's back up there. Oh, there's a yellow marker still there. Let's remove that. Um, I know this will be. So let's just find the next word that is on beat. I guess vocals are mostly the same uh, with other words, but they're sung the same way. So if you go to like this part. Sharp words push me back, hanging on to anything. This is sung the same way as in the beginning. So let's just um, zoom in here. Sorry, down here. I know. Sharp words. It's that sharp word is supposed to be on beat, but she kind of drags on the sharp, so you need to just adjust it a little bit. You can see the sh sound coming here, and at the A in the sharp, she's um, gonna be on the beat again. So let's try and just drag the gray marker a little bit. Sharp words push me back, hanging on to anything I can. And here, anything here is supposed to be on the beat. So we can try and just adjust that. And anything I can. You also need to remember that vocals are sometimes they're not spot on the beat, uh, even when they sing on beat. It's it's alright to start off as I did with uh, putting the marker just where the word begins, but you might have to adjust that later on. But as soon as you figure out the, which tempo it is. Um, it's much easier. So let's move on a little bit further. Disappear. Dis the dis is supposed to be on the beat as well. So just move that up back a little bit. Disappear. At the same time. Take me in. Makes no sense. Help me understand. And what do you tell me? What? Here we are. It's it's a bit um, out of sync again. And, and what? What is supposedly it's gonna be on the beat? And what do you tell me? Now we made this progress here uh, so far, and we've made like half the vocals. So it, if it's in sync, the first half, it's most certainly in sync. The last half as well. So just. Let's try and jump to the later part. At the same time, you keep tracking treasure down, and tracking treasure down, and tracking treasure down. So there you go. Um, it's not much harder than that. Um, all there to it. Uh, and if you still don't understand uh, um, how how I do it, and uh, or how you should do it. Um, feel free to post a question on the in the comments of this video or on my website airbasemusic.com and I'll be happy to help you out. Take care.